G'day, Gold Coast Suns fans. Time for your edition of the trade game. Thanks to the ultra stylish, ultra secure, ultrastainless.com.au. It is a pleasure to have your list manager in the house, Craig Cameron, who's been good enough to join us. Um, good to see you, mate. It's been too long. Your phone. I imagine it's running hot at yeah, the moment. Yeah, there it is. It absolutely is. A um, couple of batteries a day at the moment, so and that'll <laughs> continue all the way through to next Wednesday, I think. I don't expect, Tom, that there would have been any entertaining of moving pick one or two anywhere, but did you have some clubs ring up and inquire about them? Yeah, oh, I mean, the, the, the players at the top end of this draft are pretty talented, so we've had a couple of clubs ring up, but... Um, yeah, we're fairly committed to one and two. I mean, yeah. it's it's beholden upon us to try and uh, improve our list any way we can. So it's important to actually sort of take those calls. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we're committed to one and two. Yep. Did the Trelaw discussions advance much further than uh, an informal discussion? No. I mean, it was it was purely around players that we thought could improve our list. So, yeah. uh, again, we, we, we've got to go through that process. Um, but Collingwood shut it down pretty quickly, as, as they would, so, yeah. Will you continue to sound out clubs until next Wednesday for a similar deal to Trelaw with one of those picks? Um, look, we've got a number of first-round selections available this year and also next year, so one and two would take something extraordinary to move, yeah. Craig, what about 15, 20 so is Gold Coast fans? What do, you, what do you expect to be available then and, yep. and the type of player that's available? Uh, so I reckon early in the draft, midfielders, once we get to 15 and 20... Uh, it'll be a little bit of a wait and see. This draft's really interesting post, say, Selection 5. Um, someone we rate at 6 might still be there at 15 um, because it's a pretty it's a pretty open field after that. Um, so I, I think, look, there'll be more midfielders, rebounding defenders, um, ruck if that's what we're... if that's what a club's looking for. Um, they're also... We're not against moving 15 and 20 if we can find a player that suits or even if we want to come in a bit earlier in the draft. Yeah. So there's a few clubs interested in splitting picks, so we could go through that. Do you think, Craig, a couple of clubs, for example, when I go back to Collingwood, might propose that you could thicken the soup, so to speak, by bolstering your list with uh, players around that 15 or 20, for example? In terms of getting players from them? Yeah. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. They, no, one's, no one's come with a, an option on that yet, but um, I think there's a few trades that need to fall in the next couple of days and then it'll open up again. Yeah. You're, you're very good at this and you know what you're doing, so you don't need any advice from Thanks, me. <laughs> but, but I'm going to give, nice give, right? <laughs> give you some anyway. Surely a future pick two is enough for Jack Martin. I, I, I don't know why you're being so stubborn about this. Surely you can just say, well done, Jack, all the very best, let's get this deal done. So he was um, first pick in a mini draft. Oh, yes. He's 25 years of age. He's close to playing 100 games, so he's coming to the prime of his career. Yeah. If he was a free agent, given what he's probably about to receive in a contract, then our compensation would certainly be in the first round. So that you're going to... Are you... Well, you're not going to tell us that you're not, but it does feel like there's I'm a not really... Gonna, I'm not going to do our... <laughs> no, 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 you won't, <laughs> you won't be. No, no, there's, we're interested. There's a lot of people interested in that. But, but that's, that's a reasonable, yeah, that's yeah. A reasonable oh, no, you, conversation. And if you, are, if you are looking for... If you're like trying to get something based on a player's upside, yeah. then I can see why you'd... Did you run for the Carlton women's team this year? Yes, I did. Yeah, okay. I was just wondering if you were right. I, I think that's pretty well known where, where my heart lies. Brad Crouch. Uh, <laughs> this is like Christmas. You can ask all the no, questions no. we want. Uh, Brad Crouch. Yep. Uh, now, he's a free agent next year, so it would be a different model. How aggressively are you going to chase him in the next eight or nine days? Oh, look, well, he's, he's a player we'd be interested in. I think it'll be very difficult to get that done. Because of the money? Uh, and I think um, Adelaide, quite rightly, is just one of the best and fairest and he's yeah. contracted to them, so, yeah, I think it'll be difficult. If anything massive happens, you'll give us a call and let us know straight yeah, up here I'll on the track. I'll, do it, I'll yeah. do it before I call Adelaide. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Craig Cameron, list manager of the Gold Coast Suns, joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. There's a lot to look forward to for the Suns over this period in coming years. Enjoy it all.